Good morning everyone. Um, I'm going to do a very special unboxing today but before I go ahead and do that let me tell you the story of how I went about purchasing this item. Two weeks ago I couldn't sleep and I woke up in the middle of the night and just going through Google search and I came across the Gilio website. I am quite particularly fond of Gilio. Um, I find that their planners are very well made um, so I can justify how expensive they are. I know that they're hand dyed and handmade in Belgium as well. Um, I already have a Gilio, but on this particular night they were launching a limited edition Belgium planner. They released it in three different models. Um, and one of the models that they released was a model that I liked, which is the Compagna. And they released it also in the size that I like, which is the medium. So I sat there and I was contemplating about it. In the meantime, I was also speaking to a couple of friends of mine from America who told me to just go for it. So I did. I did. I'm a shopaholic anyway. If you guys have already seen my previous videos, you would know that I shop a lot. And I shop even more so when I'm down. I think most women do that. Um, I've been down lately because of the coronavirus. I was planning a trip to America. I was going to the Go Wild Planner Conference in Anaheim. I booked obviously all my flights, my accommodation and Disneyland tickets. Um, our country uh, has now got travel bans so not only can we not travel overseas but we are also not able to travel interstate. Anyway that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I digress. When they released their planners, they released them in three qualities. So you've got first quality, which is perfect and has no imperfections. They also released a premium quality, which didn't pass quality check. So it means it has like minor imperfections. Um, but nothing too drastic and then they've also got uh, the lower quality one where it again it didn't pass quality check it's heavily discounted and you can see marks um, marks on it and stuff like that the planner that I bought was a medium companion in first quality and that is what we are going to be unboxing today Oh, that's the other thing too. With Gilio, if you order one of their planners in first quality or premium quality at checkout, you're able to click a box where it states you can choose to see photos of the planner before you buy it. What they will do is they won't charge your card. Even though you've checked out, they won't charge your card. They will then send you the photos if there are any imperfections, uh, you have the option to cancel the order. If you're happy with it, you then um, approve approve it by email. They will then charge your card at that time and send you out the planner. When I ordered my planner, um, I was really wrapped and really happy um, and really excited about getting it. What happened a few days later was that I got an email that stated that due to the coronavirus uh, the Belgian post office is no longer posting or sending parcels. Holy dooly! <laughs> they then gave me the option to send it by buzz which I'm assuming is Belgium's equivalent to courier or express courier um, and I would also assume just by going, going by the email, I assumed that going by buzz normally 
has an extra charge to it which they didn't charge me for because it happened pretty much overnight so my planner went to the post office then from the post office got sent back to Gilio. they then sent me an email to say that they're going to send it by buzz uh, complimentary at the time because it had just happened um, I'm not sure what's what's going to happen now whether they're going to charge uh, buzz deliveries and I think buzz deliveries go through DHL anyway um, so we'll see what happens in the future with that they haven't announced anything about postage so we'll see what happens so anyway I, I opted to have my planner delivered through buzz and it arrived yesterday and now we are going to unbox it and have a look through it I've opened the box um, already just to make it easier but I haven't seen what's inside so it looks like this is the box it comes in and let me explain these rings so the Julio boxes normally come in a brown box uh, this is the Belgium edition so everything in here would be Belgium based so they've got the red cover with the yellow strip and the black because that's their Belgium flag colors I suppose um, these rings I'll explain these rings in a second let's open the box and see what's inside all Gilio planners come with dust bags the bags that I received before they're normally brown like the Gilio um, I suppose it's their uh, logo color um, but this one you've got the yellow the yellow the black and also the red so let's open this baby up so this is it this is the limited edition planner I'll just put the rings aside um, what's special about it is they've got the red border all the way around with the yellow stitching which is awesome and inside what's special about it is that they have black rings let's just take all the paraphernalia out so yeah black rings which is just gorgeous they have a dashboard um, which I'm going to laminate just to give it a bit more life as you can see it's already bent where the rings have been like it's been folded over from the rings so I'm just going to flatten that out run it through the laminate and then laminate it I love that the Gilio has the pocket you've got a pocket there um, another pocket here obviously a pocket here you've got your secretarial pocket there um, at the back you've got five um, pockets as well and another secretarial pocket at the back this planner came with a matching pen also which is really good and the other reason I love the Gilios is the massive um, pocket that's that's on top which is the um, the length of the planner and also the depth of the planner as well so you can fit a five sheets of a five and a four sheets of paper in there so or oh, not a four you will be able to fit an a4 if you folded it up but you can fit like um, notebooks in here um, bills anything you like it's it's a really really big pocket as you can see I'm going to use this as a travel planner I was going to go to the States I was supposed to leave next Sunday um, but because of the coronavirus and everything has shut down I'm not able to fly anymore or travel anymore we're not even allowed to travel interstate so when our travel bans have been lifted I'll be using this uh, when I go to the States I do have um, travel 
uh, inserts as well that I got from Kiki K. It also came with as this, I, I don't know exactly why they did a limited edition um, in a Belgium theme. Like I said, I woke up one morning and it was happening. So I'm not exactly sure why. I'm sure that there is a reason, but it also came with three fly leaves. And there are significance to these fly leaves as well. Obviously, that's the Belgium, or oh, that's Belgium, that's a country. And it's quite embossed in the leather there with um, some patterns. And on the back, it's just a velvet, um, well, it is leather, so it's like velvet on the back or suede on the back. You get the gold one with. Oh my, I forgot. But this is a this is a monument, I think, that they built when they had their bicentennial. I cannot remember for the life of me what it was called. Um, but it's still standing there and um, you can visit it when you go to Belgium. That's the second flyleaf. Again, it's got the, the suede... Um, Back. And the last fly leaf that you get is um, this one, which is, um, I was told, is a famous uh, statue of a boy pissing in a fountain in Belgium. That's what you get. You also get, uh, so you get the black rings. You also get another set of rings, which is a gold 25 millimeter which I love because um, well that that's it there I'm not going to take it out because I'm not going to use it um, I wish that I wish that the black rings came in a 30 millimeter this is only a 25 millimeter ring um, so it's going to be too small for me because I want my, my, I, when I use my planners and I have all my inserts and when I decorate it, it gets quite chunky. So I find that 25 mils isn't, um, it isn't big enough. So I've opted for a 30 millimeter rings as well, which I'm just going to change out the black to the gold 30 millimeter ring. You can see that there is a big difference in size um, with the rings. So that's why I've opted for the 30 mil instead of the 25 mil. So I will swap that out today. There is a bit of a trick to it. And I did it with my other planner the other day. And whoa, it was, I found it really tricky and really difficult to swap it out. And when you're playing, when you're paying a lot of money for a planner, um, you, you don't want to obviously wreck it. So you have to be very ginger with it, but also very sturdy with it as well. I've just swapped out the rings from the 25 millimeter black ring to the 30 millimeter gold. And as you can see, the ring is much bigger and it doesn't, make any difference at all to the planner when you close it um it closes quite comfortably um i didn't i didn't order any inserts with this planner only because i'm going to use it as a travel planner as i've said before and i've got the inserts already i uh, just thought i'd show you what it looks like with the 30 millimeter rings instead of the 25 millimeter oh it's it's just gorgeous i just love it that's it for another unboxing you guys if you liked the video and the content give me a thumbs up if you like to see more unboxings or more videos with different contents let me know what you want to see um subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching what i what i produce um, and then let me know also in the comments what you what you would like to see. Until next time, 
I'll see you later. Bye.